Hi, I'm Miss Miller. I'm one of the Title I teachers, and I'll be reading Chapter 15, The Great Plan from the BFG. We've absolutely got to stop them, Sophia cried. Put me in your back pocket quick, and we'll chase after them and warn everyone in England they're coming. Redonkulous and impossible, the BFG said. They is going two times as fast as me, and they is finishing their guzzle before we is halfway. But we can't just sit here doing nothing, Sophia cried. How many girls and boys are going to eat tonight? Are they going to eat tonight? Many, the BFG said. The flush eat lump eating giant alone has the most squackling wopsy appetite. Will he snatch them out of their beds while they're sleeping? Like peas out of a pottle, said the BFG. I can't bear to think of it, Sophia cried. Then don't, the BFG said. For years and years, I is sitting here on this very rock every night after night when they is galloping away. And I is feeling so sad for all the human beings they is going to gobble up. I has had it to get used to it. There is nothing I can do. If I wasn't as titchy little runt giant only 24 feet high, then I would be stopping them. But that is absolutely out of the window. Do you always know where they're going? Sophia asked. Always, the BFG said. Every night they is yelling at me as they go boostling by. The other day they was yelling, we is off to Mississippi and Miss Zuri to guzzle them both. Disgusting, Sophia said. I hate them. She and the big friendly giant sat quietly side by side on the blue rock in the gathering dusk. Sophia had never felt so helpless in her life. After a while, she stood up and cried out, I can't stand it. I just think of those poor girls and boys who are going to be eaten alive in a few hours' time. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We've got to go after those brutes. No, the BFG said. We must, cried Sophia. Why won't you go? The BFG sighed and shook his head firmly. I has told you five or six times, he said, and the third will be the last. I is never showing myself to human beings. Why ever not? If I do, they will be putting me in a zoo with all the giraffes and caddy pillar, piddlers. Nonsense, Sophia said. And then they will be sending you straight back to a orphanage, the BFG went on. Grown-up human beings is not famous for their kindnesses. They as all swiffle rotters and grink sluggers. That's simply not true, Sophia cried angrily. Some of them are very kind indeed. Who, the BFG said, name one. The Queen of England, Sophia called, er, said. You can't call her a squiffle rider or a grink slugger. Well, the BFG said, you can't call her a squeak pip or not mucher either, Sophia said, getting angrier and angrier. The flush lump eater is long, longing dearly to guzzle her up. The BFG said, smiling a little now. Who, the queen? Sophia cried aghast. Yes, the BFG answered. The flush lump eater says he is never eating a queen, and he thinks perhaps she has an especially scrumdilly-umptious flavor. How dare he? Sophia cried. But flush lump eater says there is too many soldiers around her palace, and he durstn't try it. He better not, Sophia said. He also is also saying he would like very much to guzzle one of the soldiers in his pretty red suit, but he is worried about the big black furry hats they is wearing. He thinks they might be sticking in his throat. 
I hope he chokes, Sophia says. Flush Love Peter is a very careful giant, the BFG said. Sophia was silent for a few moments. Then suddenly, in a voice filled with excitement, she cried out, I've got it, by golly, I think I've got it. Got what? asked the BFG. The answer, cried Sophia. We'll go to the queen. It's a terrific idea. If I went and told the queen about these disgusting man-eating giants, I'm sure she'll do something about it. The BFG looked at, down at her sadly and shook his head. She is never believing you, he said. Never in a month of Mondays. I think she would. Never, the BFG said. It is sounding such a wonky tall story. The queen will be laughing and saying, what awful rub squash. She would not. Of course she would, the BFG said. I has told you before that human beings is simply not believing in giants. Then it's all up to us to find a way of making her believe in them, Sophia said. And how is you getting in to see the queen anyway? The BFG asked. Now hold on a sec, Sophia said. You just hold on a sec because I've got another idea. Your ideas is full of crodswoggle, the BFG said. Not this one, Sophia said. You say that if we tell the queen, she would never believe us. I am certain she won't, the BFG said. But we aren't going to tell her, Sophia said excitedly. We don't have to tell her. We'll make her dream it. That is e an even more froth bungling suggestion, the BFG said. Dreams is a lot of fun, but nobody is believing in dreams either. You is only believing in a dream while you is actually dreaming it. But as soon as you was waking up, you was saying, oh, thank goodness, it was only a dream. Don't you worry about that part of it, Sophia said. I can fix that. Never can you fix it, the BFG said. I can. I swear I can. First of all, let me ask you a very important question. Here it is. Can you make a person dream absolutely anything in the world? Anything you like, the BFG said proudly. If, ye, if I say I wanted to dream that I was flying in a bathtub with silver wings, could you make me dream it? I could, the BFG said. But how, said Sophia, you obviously don't have exactly that dream in your collection. I do not, the BFG said, but I could soon be mixing it up. How could you mix it up? It's a little bit like mixing a birthday cake, the BFG said. If you was putting the right amounts of all the different things into it, you was making the cake come out any way you want. Sugary, spongy, curranty, Christmassy, or grob switchy. It's the same with dreams. Go on, Sophia said. I has dillions of dreams on my shelf. Right or left? Right, Sophia said. I has dreams about bathtubs, lots of them. I has dreams about silver wings. I has dreams about flying. So all I has to do is mix those dreams together in the proper way, and I is very quickly making a dream where you is flying in a bathtub with silver wings. I see what you mean, Sophia said, but I don't know you could mix one dream with, I didn't know you could mix one dream with another. Dreams like being mixed, the BFG answered. They is getting very lonesome all by themselves in those glassy bottles. Right, Sophia said. Now then, do you have dreams about the Queen of England? Lots of them, BFG said. And about giants? Of course, the BFG said. And about giants eating people? Squiggles of them, the BFG said. And about little girls like me? Those is the most commonest of all, the BFG said. I has bottles and bottles of dreams about little girls. And you can mix them up, all up just as I want you to? Sophia asked, getting more and more excited. Of course, the BFG said. But how is this helping us? 
I think he was barking up the wrong dog. Now hold on, Sophia said. Listen carefully. I want you to mix a dream which will which you will blow into the Queen of England's bedroom when she is asleep. And this is how it will go. Now hang on a mintic, the BFG said. How was I possibly going to get near enough to the Queen of England's bedroom to blow into my dream? Or to blow in my dream? You is talking dumb, silly. I'll tell you that later, Sophia said. For the moment, please listen carefully. Here's the dream I want you to mix. Are you paying attention? Very closely, said the BFG. I want the queen to dream that nine disgusting giants, each one about 50 feet tall, are galloping to England in the night. She must dream their names as well. What are their names again? Flesh Lump Eater, the BFG said, Man Hugger, Bone Cruncher, Child Chewer, Meat Dripper, Gizzard Gulper, Maid Smasher, Blood Bottler, and the Butcher Boy. Let her dream all those names, Sophia said, and let her dream that they will be creeping into England in the depths of the witching hour and snatching little boys and girls from their beds. Let her dream that they will be reaching into the bedroom windows and pulling the little boys and girls out of their beds. And Sophia, Sophia paused. Do they eat them on the spot or do they carry them away first? She asked. They is usually just popping them straight into their mouths like popcorn, the BFG said. Put that in the dream, Sophia said. And then, then the dream must say that when their tummies are full, they will go galloping back into giant country where no one can find them. Is that all, the BFG said? Certainly not, Sophia said. You must then explain to the queen in her dreams that there is a big friendly giant who can tell her where all those beasts are living so that she can send her soldiers and her armies to capture them once and for all. Now, and now let her dream one last very important thing. Let her dream that there is a little girl called Sophia sitting on her windowsill who will tell her where the big friendly giant is hiding. Where is he hiding? asked the BFG. We'll come to that later, Sophia said. So the queen dreams her dream, right? Right, the BFG said. Then she wakes up and the first thing she thinks is, oh, what a horrid dream. I'm so glad it was only a dream. And then she looks up from her pillow and what does she see? What does she see? The BFG asked. She sees a little girl called Sophia sitting on her windowsill right there in real life before her very eyes. How is you going to be sitting on the queen's window sill, may I beg? The BFG said, you are going to put me there, Sophia said, and that's the lovely part about it. If someone dreams that there's a little girl sitting on her window sill, then she wakes up and sees that the little girl really is sitting there that is a dream come true, is it not? I is beginning to see where you was driving to, the BFG said. If the queen is knowing that part of her dream is true, then perhaps she is believing the rest of it is true as well. That's about it, Sophia said, but I shall have to convince her of that myself. You said you was wanting the dream to say that there is a big friendly giant who is also going to talk to the queen? Absolutely. Sophia said, you must. You are the only one who can tell her where to find the other giants. How is I meeting the queen? Asked the B BFG. I is not wanting to be shooted at by her shoulder. soldiers. The soldiers are only in the front of the palace, Sophia said. At the back, there is a huge garden and there are no soldiers in there at all. There is a very high wall with spikes on it all around the garden to stop people climbing in. But you can simply walk over that. How was you knowing all this about the queen's palace? The BFG asked. 
Last year I was in a different orphanage, Sophia said. It was in London and we used to go for walks all around there. Is you helping me find this palace? The BFG asked. I has never dared to go hide and sneaking around London in my life. I'll show you the way, Sophia said confidently. I is frightened of London, the BFG said. Don't be, Sophia said. It's full of tiny dark streets and there are very friendly people about in the watching hour. The BFG picked Sophia up between one finger and a thumb and placed her gently in the palm of the other hand. Is the Queen's Palace very big? He asked. Huge, Sophia said. Then how was we finding the right bedroom? Oh, that's up to you, Sophia said. You're supposed to be an expert at that sort of thing. And you is absolutely sure the queen will not put me in a zoo with all the catty pit piddlers. Of course she won't, Sophia said. You'll be a hero. You'll never have to eat snaz cumbers again. Sophia saw the BFG's eyes widen. He licked his lips. You mean it, he said. You really mean it. No more di disgust of snaz cumbers. You couldn't get one if you wanted to, Sophia said. Humans don't grow them. That did it. The BFG got to his feet. When you was wanting me to, when is you wanting me to mix up this special dream, he asked. Now, Sophia said, at once. When is we going to see the queen, he said. Tonight, Sophia said, as soon as you've missed the dream. Mixed the dream. Tonight, the BFG cried. Why such a flush bunkling flurry? If we can't save tonight's children, we can anyway save tomorrow, Sophia said. What is more, I am getting finished. I haven't had a thing to eat for 24 hours. Then we had better get cracking, the BFG said, moving back toward the cave. Sophia kissed him on the tip of his thumb. I knew you would do it, she said. Come on, let's hurry. Okay, sorry about the light going out um, and it kind of got fuzzy, but hopefully you enjoyed this reading of chapter 15, The Plan, The Great Plan.